Do you see him live? I did. Mm. Um, like, did you see him as a spot on stage once? I saw him on the, on the, on the bad tour when it came to Randy Park in Leeds. But it was, it was like phenomenal. a spot. It was a spot though, wasn't it? Unless you were at the front. I did all right. I, I managed to get near the mixing desk bit, you know, that's normally in the middle of the... I did part. too. How? I you was must... such a fan. You know, I paid you know £150 what? Pounds for that seat. You know, I was only I was only a kid and, and I thought that would be the safe place to be. It's so uh, so I stood there. It's a good spot, Chris. Oh, the mixing desk is always the best <laughs> spot. Yeah. Because it's a little clearing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But I know he was. I think we all went because it was you knew once in a lifetime. It's something you have yeah. to do. Mm. You Did ever meet do. him? No. I, and I'll be honest with you. I had a chance, and um, I'm going to hold my hand up and say I I, I turned it down. Not a chance. Oh. I swear to you. Really? What, what was the chance? Um, well, I don't want to sour the whole thing, but it was to present something to do with his foundation. But it was at the time of all the allegations. Right. And, uh, being a dad, I just didn't think. You know, swanning up on a stage with mm. a mic in my hand, you know. That's fair enough. Nothing had been cleared up or made. I just didn't think it was appropriate. That's understandable. You know, but, you know, one of the things in my life I want to do is meet Michael Jackson. You know, Prince Michael Jackson, and that was it. They're the two. Mm. Well, I'd start writing to Prince now if I were you. Mm. I blogged him. Yeah. <laughs> Twitter him, whatever, I'll Twitter him today. But Twitter to Prince. No, but I think even Prince and him had a rivalry in the 80s, didn't they? Yeah. They had a bit of a rivalry. But I think even today, Prince would be like, wow, you know, that's this is this is just the, the saddest news. For a whole generation, and I have to say, the hip-hop and R&B generation particularly, even hardcore rappers, never had a bad word to say about Michael Jackson. Whenever I interviewed him, it was always like, who was your influence to do your hardcore rap, Michael Jackson? Mm -hmm. You know, Michael Jackson. Uh, that's the weirdest thing. It's, no, no. They got a bit soft and soppy over, always protective over Michael Jackson. And as you see outside Harlem Apollo, they're all dancing. Everywhere I see something, they're just dancing. Well, mm. Jonathan Blake was saying that before uh, in the news from uh, from New York, and he was saying how it had turned out in New York anyway. There was like a celebration in, in Times Square and in Harlem and on the streets generally, rather than it being a down sort of, yeah. uh, sort of you know, it was very much a sort of upbeat feeling. Well, the music he left us, man, there's nothing but celebration mm. really I don't think I, I feel sad I felt sad last night for him his family you know obviously we've met some of his family members uh, Jermaine Tito people like that and and, and you, what, you worked with Tito did you? yeah yeah, I did actually he's he's a nice guy man he's a really nice guy and I think he'd be broken right now massively they are, they are. really broken but you know I think Michael Jackson come on he would want us to be playing all his music forever that's mm. why he did it that's, that's what he wanted he wanted it to be the biggest thing on the planet and he became it, you know, mm. and with that comes a lot of consequences. Normally, that's Marvin Gaye, Bob Marley, Michael Jackson, mm. all gone in their prime, all gone way early. It's a massive list. But you can't be, you can't be the biggest pop star on the planet and keep your feet firmly on the ground. You ca it's going to send you a little bit crackers. Mm. So, but especially with the background that he had as well, you know, it wasn't as if he went into stardom with yeah. the with the best bases, did he? What would you have done, Chris? What was what? If you were the biggest pop star on the planet. I mean, Michael Jackson slept in an oxygen tank, apparently, and set that picture up himself. Yeah. Would you have done something like that? Yeah, why not? I mean, now, we're... But, it, but the thing is, you can do whatever you want. He's laughing at us now, though, isn't he? I mean, because we... I did fall for that. But the thing is, that's that's what, you know... A friend of mine met Prince, went out on a night with Prince once. And, uh... He met him and he said, oh, I'm sorry, so nice to meet you. He goes, yeah, Prince says hi. He goes, I don't really know what to call you. Do I call you Prince or... Because it's a bit confusing. Mm. I don't know what I should call you. And Prince leans over to him and goes, no, no one ever does. Funny, isn't it? <laughs> no one, <laughs> no said, one calls him Prince. All right? And he said, well, because when he changed his yeah. name and all oh, that... Oh, right. It's a squiggle. Yeah. Anyway, so you suddenly realise, yeah, Prince is just having a laugh. He's just having a laugh. And then that whole Leave Me Alone uh, video for Michael Jackson was him when bubbles in an aeroplane and in the oxygen tank and the elephant man remains and all of that, and, you know. He knew what was going on. Mm, I think Certainly so. at that point, anyway. He bought the Beatles catalogue. Yeah, yeah, he, he couldn't did. have been that daft, could he? Did he sell it again, though, didn't he? Yeah, he, he had to, yeah. But, I mean, that's a, sh that's a guy at the mm. time who was being wacky and eccentric in all the headlines. Were, but then, you read the small print, uh, by the way, Michael Jackson owns a Beatles publishing. Mm. Well, like, wow, okay. Mm. That's a record collection, isn't it? That's a record collection and a <laughs> half. So, you know, he was a very shrewd... Well, uh, Allard owns yes. uh, this American Michael Jackson compilation, which is five discs. Five discs. Uh, well, I want to see if I can top that, Ali. Let's have a look. All of look them. Look at that. It's on a DVD. Even with demos and everything like that. I don't have that. That is... I'm Ali very proud Alec can moonwalk. One. Wow. I've never even played yeah, it. Can you moonwalk, Trev? No, no. I never Alec did. can. I've got to be Alec, show him.
No, go, on, no. go on, show it. Right come, Ali, come, on. Respect. come on, Ali. Celebrate Michael's life with the moonwalk. We've got carpet in here, though. Uh, no, I'm going to take my shoes off. Do you want some, do you want some, do you want no, some no, music? No, 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 please don't, no, because I'll, I'll cry. Okay. It'd be, great, it'd be great for the cameras if you I could cry. I've got the cameras today, actually. Right. It would be more apt in silence. Whoa, he can. Look at that. <laughs> he can. I he did even, that on stage in Birmingham. I can even do the circular moonwalk that he did up to Billie Jean on stage at the Motown 25 Awards. Go on, <laughs> Do you need some Vaseline for that or something? No, no, it's it's not that kind of dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can. so I've got to be honest. Now that just looks a little bit weird. Mm. You can't see my feet, though. You can right. see the tub. So there you go. This no, is you what can. you just look like. <laughs> you just kind of move hey, your shoulders. Right? I won the National Eisteddfod in Wales dancing to Michael Jackson. Wow. Yeah, three people entered. Mm. Actually, a lot more. Mm. But do, do you know what? If you do even we we joke about it, but if you have a signature move like the moonwalk, right? As, we laugh about it, but he's got something, hasn't he? I mean, that's his. The moonwalk. Some people's Michael Jackson's legacy. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's but, but loads of stuff. The moonwalk, the one glove, all of that. Yeah, but it's that. What do we have? Me. Yeah, what, what, do we, no, what, do we, what, what do we have? I mean, he's got, he's got, he's chalked, he chalked up about a hundred little things, didn't he? He yeah. had bubbles, he had, he, had the, he had the music, this, that. Yeah, I've got I, David Allen. That's what I've got. And we like your bubbles and your glove and your That's moonwalk. Right. You're the glove. Thank uh, you. Alan's the bubbles. Right, there you go. I think I'd rather be the glove. <laughs> <laughs> so, Trevor, are you going to play any songs? Yeah, a few. I mean, what's your favourite all time? Um, I'm saving it for our golden hour. Oh, you keep got, it. Got, We're all going to have our song at the end. I don't have one. Yeah. I don't have a favourite Michael Jackson song. It's hard to have a favourite now. Because as, as, as soon as I, if I said one now, then you'd say another one. I go, oh, I like that one as well. All right, but what's yours? But, then? But the one I choose, you ain't going to say. Is it was it is it a Jackson song or a Jackson ja Five song? A, I'm going to say a Jackson song now. It's, it's a Michael I, I Jackson song. It. Yeah, I mentioned it. Uh, uh, ben. No, not that's ben. just a bit too soppy for me. That one. Nah. And that's a bit sombre to play that one. <laughs> Although it's a slow tune. Yeah. It's a slow tune. Just because of performance. I mentioned it. Bad? I'll be there. I'll, I'll be, be there. there. It's just unbelievable mm. the way Got he sings that song. Be there. That one as well. Be Never can say there. goodbye. It's amazing. For a little kid. I'll be there. There you go. So many. Yeah, so many. I'll be Chris, there. Chris, I'm off to work. Yeah, I'll let you oh, play that one. Right. That's a bit mm. sombre for yeah, us. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll play it at home. Oh, okay. It's all right. All right. Anyway, uh, Trevor's on the air and one extra in... Uh, Couple of minutes. <laughs> In 90 seconds. Mm. Michael Jackson, RIP, mate. Thank All you, right. Trevor. Thanks, Trev, man. Hey, here comes another song that Trevor gave us first. Black Eyed Peas. Mm. Do you remember when you gave me this? Yeah. You're all over it like a rash. Yeah. See? Yeah. Trevor Nelson, pushing 60, but yeah. he still knows the hits. <laughs> right. Yeah. Boom, boom. Thanks for all the text messages coming in this morning about Michael Jackson. Love you telling us uh, what song you want to hear from him. And one from someone said, can you play Scream by Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson? It's an underrated track. Do you know, do you know I haven't heard that. No one ever plays Scream. The video is brilliant. The video is the most expensive video of all time. Yeah. Still. Is it still? I think so. At this time, I don't know about now. Although I don't know how because it's the most basic video ever. In Spaceship, isn't it? Mm. Yes, we're going to play another Michael Jackson song after the news. Sad, sad day. Chris and Canuck says, listen, you know this live streaming you're doing, and people mm. can watch the show live. Have you thought about playing Hello, I'm Watching? Oh, that's nice. But well, we call people up and make sure they're watching the show. Mm. That's a good idea. Next week. What? We'll do it for next week. Yeah, good idea. We'll get it set up for next week. Yep. Alan is all over it. Look at him. Pow. By the way, Alan and I are both wearing black shirts today. Mm. Um, I'm wearing it because it makes me look thinner. I think Alan's probably wearing it in tribute to Michael yeah. Jackson. Mm. And it's complimentary as well. I thought the white glove would be too much, though. Mm. I think else. you're probably right. But nice moonwalking, by the way. Mm. People you. enjoy watching that. All right, let's get the uh, sad news and sport with Dom and Carrie. Digital FM online. This, this is BBC Radio 1. I will play an amazing Michael Jackson song after the news to celebrate him. Let's get the news from Dominic. It's two minutes past eight. Michael Jackson dies aged 50.